Yes, people, and welcome back to AJ Cars, and welcome back to another video. And today, we are back on the Mark IV Golf GTI. The car hasn't been on the channel for a while, but I know you guys did like the content when I did bring it out. So today, we have more and their modifications. So for those of you who don't know, this is my Mark IV Golf GTI show car build. I tried to make a show car. It's the closest thing I can get. However, there is loads of stuff done to this car. Obviously, the obvious is the paint job, Nardo Grey. We've bagged it, we've put wheels on it, we've done the interior, rear, front bumper, smooth tailgate, spoiler, everything, split a kit. So we've done loads to this car. However, I wasn't quite done with the interior, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, uh, you've got to excuse the mess that's in it. However, these are the seats that I bought the car with. These are Recaro leather heated seats reclinable all that pretty basic standard seats now i think seats for this car would really set it off i think it's the last little piece that I could, without doing loads to it seats would have a really nice touch in this now i've been umming and ahhing and buying seats for a while and i finally pulled the trigger i bought some seats which are in the back you can see the color just there i can't wait to see these in i bought these off a friend uh, he bought some new ones and i just thought you know what i'm gonna take these i want some seats so we're gonna hope that these fit because i'm not even 100 percent sure the yeah, interior is looking mediocre at best but i think seats are really gonna set this off let's have a look at the seats so these are the seats now i think that's gonna look really nice in there the only thing it's red so people might not agree but i quite like the red because the back lights are the only piece of red on this car and the only real colour to this car. So I think that's going to look quite nice. However, these are BB Classic seats. Now, these are custom. If you want to buy these, you can get them red. Or this centrepiece will be red as well. And he's actually had these custom stitched. So black with the red stitching on the inside. I really like that. That's one of the reasons why I bought this. Because it was different. Custom made. Black on the back as well. Yeah. I think these are going to look really good in there. Get rid of these old standard seats and bang these. And we also have the subframes in here and we should have the rails, I'm hoping, in there somewhere. So we're going to have to somehow fit them to this and then onto the subframes and then into the car. I hope it might not be that simple, but we're going to give it a go. I've never actually fitted seats to a car, custom seats anyway. So we're going to hope this fits. Let's do it. So these are the mounts for them, OMP, which supposedly fit, I'm hoping they fit, and these are the rails for each side. Now these are an absolute nightmare to find, but we found them, um, apparently the Audi AL do fit this, but these are for the Mark IV Golf GTI. So I'm praying that they fit, and they fit onto these, and they fit onto them. So let's get assembling. Actually, we're not gonna assemble them. We're gonna get these ones out. I'm not actually 100% sure how these come out, however, I am going to start with these two, I think they're 13, I'm going to start with them two, and then work my way back, I know it does come under the rails and there is a plug on there, so we're going to start here. Whoever did this car before, whoever did these seats, has done some serious wiring. I have no idea, unless he's retrofitted these seats, I think they might be out of an Audi or something, but that is very excessive. Okay. I actually don't know, I might have to buy some resistors for these. 
Okay, we'll figure that one out. Right, let's build these seats up. Right, so off camera, I've been trying to play around with this, trying to figure out how this goes in now. I'm at a loss, if I'm being honest, but I just think I've clicked. So it set, they sent you, obviously, this bracket, actually, this little bracket as well. So you've got to get these. They send you some bolts and these square pieces. Now, I have no idea what they were for until now. So this might be completely wrong, and I mean completely wrong. However, if it works, this is exactly how I'm doing it. So I don't, I don't even know. So those square brackets sit inside the rails and bolt in there on both sides, so there as well. And then that is going to keep it sturdy. Then the front, I can only assume that sits, because them line, them holes line up perfectly with that. So I can only assume, because the thread's that way, goes in like that, and then you go through this hole onto that, which keeps that sturdy. Then you can put the round. So that is it people, after a long day I finally got the opportunity to do it and I think they look so so good. I think it kind of makes a nice touch to the interior that so heavily needed it and get rid of them old old seats that look just dreadful. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, stay tuned for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.